I never really had a chance to, I guess, like interact with students who are not able-bodied. I played soccer my whole life and just thinking of having to be in a chair and like not having your feet and then we finally got the chairs and it's just an amazing experience. Well, the main thing for me is that it's an equalizer. Power soccer and the way Berkeley does it is entirely unique to the world. We're the only program that provides power chairs for students without disabilities to play sports alongside students with disabilities. Given UC Berkeley's commitment to the underserved, to developing new ways of being inclusive in society and promoting justice, there was no better campus in the world to start this. For me, it's been just definitely like a great experience. I'm only in the wheelchair for two hours. It kind of like makes me think about like what it means to be disabled, specifically like for those who don't get off the chair, who have to go th through this on a daily basis and the struggle that they face on an everyday basis of how people look at them, like how people interact with them. Hi, how are you? I am Latif McLeod. I have been playing power soccer for 25 years. Well, it is special because both students with disabilities and able-bodied students can participate in the class and I can relay my expertise in the sport to them. You really build a sense of com camaraderie with your teammates because you have, to, you have to be fast and you have to kick goals. Not that that's happened much, but you know, it, it really brings people both able-bodied and disabled together and that's something that I really think is crucial. Regardless of the disability, in fact, any category of person, it benefits everybody. There's a general course that goes into disability studies, goes into theoretical frameworks of you know, sociology, cultural studies, and applies it to the experience of sport and how sports can play into creating a new paradigm shift for inclusion. I think one of the premises of this engaged scholarship, you can learn a lot through books and you can read theory about disability studies, but something about the physical, somatic, kinesthetic experience of living it is also incredibly learning. If you can make this opportunity part of their academic excellence, the sky's the limit on what we can do for inclusion. For the two hours that we play, we have the same goal, we're in the same situation. So it allows people not to see disabled people as the other, but as their equal.